Here we go. I told you to put on your seatbelt. This is nothing compared to what's going to be coming up, but do not be afraid. I smelled smoke of burning police cars the other night, and I had no fear. And I'm going to tell you why and how you can move into what's about to happen on this planet with full confidence that we are going in the right direction, that you do not have to fear, and that whatever is to come, we can transform it. This is when it gets really critical. We're not going to go back into the old way of handling things, of thinking and behavior. I'm going to show you how. Are you ready for this? Because this is huge. Welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through the fears. This is when it's really going to count and live an amazing life. You think, an amazing life? This is cray cray out there. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, I'm going to share something with you. We as babies, the only way we can communicate is to cry. When I cry, then mommy and daddy know that I have a poopy diaper. I'm hungry. I don't feel well. I'm tired. When we get older, we don't change that behavior. We don't realize later on that we don't have to act that way anymore because we can communicate. Yet, we have continued to act like babies. When we don't get what we want, we use those techniques to get attention. When we have something happen, we get sad, we cry like babies. I want you to know something right now because I'm going to explain what's happening out there and the mentality of that and why it's so critical for you to not go back into that behavior of how you think about it and everything else that surrounds it. There is a history on this planet of people using situations and weak situations to get what they want. When a boss yells at you about something, it has nothing to do with what they're yelling you with, at you about. The portfolio needs to be, you know, done. You didn't do it. Something else is going on here. So the boss yells at you because it's a great excuse to vent that garbage out here based on this. That's what's going on right now. What's going on has nothing to do with the real issues because the real issues never require violence. That is an age-old way of handling things that is an excuse to behave really badly. When a window gets broken on a store owner's you know, place, that could be the very person that you claim you're defending or protesting for and now these people, maybe here in Atlanta, these small business owners, may be out of business. Looting, breaking windows has nothing to do with protesting for peace or justice. That's an excuse, and we know that. That is the behavior that we have had for centuries, and it's time to stop. Now, who does the bully pick on? The biggest guy in the, the school? Hell no. They pick on the weak or the meek. Somebody who might be actually some cool kid who's not going to be the biggest or who's going to defend him or herself. That's who they pick on because they have their own insecure issues. So in turn, they want to prove how great they are. Their own issues going on have nothing to do with who they're picking on or what they do to that person. This is how it works. And so there's all these other agendas going on that have nothing to do with the real issue at hand. That went out the window. Right now, people use situations for their own personal frustration and agendas. They pick on the weak. And they use this and manipulate everything like babies do. But here's what we're going to do. Are you ready for this? We are going to stop acting like babies. 
we now know that we hold power. We didn't know this years ago. We would actually go in and do the same stupid stuff. A negative against a negative creates a negative. What's going to happen now? We know that physical power holds no power over what we all have here. But when you use your actual spiritual power on the highest frequency, you hold the power of the universe of the one. And you're acting on that behalf, which means total peace, no judgment, not getting sucked in. So, so many of you are going back to that centuries-old behavior of going, oh, I'm afraid. I had a spiritual person contact me and said, oh, I can't believe this is happening. It's surreal. I said, oh, please. We've been doing this for since the earth existed, right? I mean, seriously. I mean, when I was a kid, we had the Detroit riots, and, and nothing's really changed. It just goes in cycles. But what can change is how we react to that. So when there is bad behavior, right? It's just low density behavior. It is looking for a certain reaction. And when you give that reaction, okay? Little baby, oh, you know, way away, I want ice cream. You can't have ice cream. I, you know, skin my knee and I come in, mommy, look, I have my knee, can I have my ice cream? Okay, honey, you can have it now. And this is what we do. We manipulate the material world back and forth. You know how the meek will inherit the earth? The meek don't have to do anything. They don't have to have physical power. They don't have to be big. They don't have to be giants. They don't need weapons. They hold the true power of peace. Gandhi brought down an entire nation. If he'd have used weapons and violence, they'd have got their asses kicked. All right? From here to Timbuktu. But he didn't. He knew Let's do the opposite of what centuries-old behavior has done, and we're going to use peace because there's no power that can battle that and win, not ultimately. So I want you to know something. When you see this and you go into fear, you are now fueling and feeding it. That's desired. Why do you think it's being done? It's being done to instill fear. Because if somebody really wanted some justice for whatever situation it is, whether it's this one I'm talking about right now or the numerous ones in the future, there are, there are the thousand and one going on at all times. When you are wanting a negative reaction, when you're using negativity, it's not about that situation. There's something else going on. All right? So I want you to know, don't get sucked into this. Don't do it, because then you are absolutely over there doing our same old Neanderthal baby behavior. You know, we have to communicate. I cry to get something. Once you can start communicating, none of that's necessary. We don't have to behave like that. So here's what we're going to do. There is power in prayer. There's power in holding fast. Now you've got to hold fast on here. I told you to put on your seatbelts. And the reason why I said that is because this is when you get tested. So what's, what's funny is we all, oh, we want to, you know, learn about the fifth dimension. And I have a, a webinar going on this weekend. If you missed the webinar, you can get the, the three-hour replay. Uh, and I'm going to teach you about the new earth. How do you go into it? It's going to be tough as heck for a lot of you because it's, you're, you're studying it, you're meditating, you're feeling great. The lockdown was amazing for a lot of people because it really shifted us. But what happens when you see that violence going on out there? Now we're dealing with something totally different. That's scary, okay? Don't fuel it. Don't feed it. Now you're being really tested, okay? Now you're not just staying at home playing Yahtzee with your kids. Now you see something out there that could fuel your fear. Don't go into the lower frequency because you feed that reality. Because you're saying that it's real and it's a threat to you. So if you saw my video on money, money in abundance, the frequency, you associate most of the time, most of us who struggle with money it's because we attach negativity to money.
I don't love my job. How I earn is negative. Rich people are evil. Money is negative. The frequency of money in your head is low, so you create negativity, a low frequency with money. So when you do get it, you lose it again. Why? Because you have a negative frequency attached to it. This is the same thing. So when that happens, you can switch that story. Here it goes. It's tumbling. The structures are tumbling. People are behaving badly with different agendas, and we are not going to fuel it anymore. The meek shall inherit the earth. That means that some 90-pound little monk up in a monastery can take down an entire army with his power. And these guys do that. They don't flaunt it because then that's the ego going and say, look what I do. And some of them have done that and it's paid for it, right? You lose your power when you go into that space. When you go to that high frequency, you fear nothing. You are indestructible. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. You are not this human body. No illness, no violence out there. Nothing can destroy you. And the higher frequency you go on, and the more you view it and observe it, and not allow it to control your emotions, the more you go into the fifth dimension where it is no longer controlling your reality. Because some people will go into fear, and they will stay in the, the old earth where they're controlled by it. They believe it. They fuel it. Fear is a negative, low-frequency emotion. It says I don't have power. Something in the material world is real and I can't change it. It, it. it creates this whole situation out there that is a holographic universe based on your emotions and beliefs. That's all it is. So what can you do about this? The meek shall inherit the earth. That means I am a peaceful person. I'm the Gandhi. What am I going to do? And I'm not saying sit home. I'm telling you, if you want to take action, you focus on the things that you can do that are peaceful. We had, before, before the riots were even over on the Friday night, the first night, when it was really bad, we had people online in my neighborhood saying, who's going to go over there and clean it up? I shouldn't have to clean it up. I didn't do it. No, they're not acting like babies. They said, how are we going to put our city back together? Because the people who just destroyed it, they are not our friends when it comes to a peaceful planet. They are not high frequency people. That's just a BS story. We know this. And I don't really care what their agenda is or what they're trying to do. It's irrelevant to me. Because guess what? You know what you are? No matter, no matter what color you are, education level, how much money you do or don't have. You have been everything. You've been black and white and African and uh, American and uh, a tree and a rock and everything. We all have been. So it's irrelevant. You are a light being and you're a student here. And everything that you do as a student, you're just a frequency here. You are a light being here experiencing things and everything you do is a frequency that's all it is the universe doesn't judge what that is it just knows frequencies and when you go into destruction fear anger manipulation of the material world and other people your frequency is down here so you're just a walking frequency you're a light being you're nothing else so when everybody else that is doing these things is judging one another, they are separating. You know how I feel about separation. So don't look at them and separate yourself from them. They are part of the expression of the one. And if you, as the expression of the one, don't choose to experience that, then don't start going into that space that they are saying that we are separate and trying to turn people against each other and hurt other people, right? Those small business owners might be out permanently. The very people they claim they're protesting on behalf of, it's a load of hoo-hoo.
and we all know that. So, we're not going to sit and analyze it. Why? It's irrelevant. It's bad behavior that we don't want to get involved in or fuel or talk about or try and figure it out because you won't have all the answers. And it doesn't matter because the more you focus on it, and that's what you're supposed to be doing, right? Focusing on it because then it gets attention. No, you're going to pull your attention over here to the peace, and we're going to have meditations. We're going to, every morning, send our prayers. We're not going to go into fear. We're going to start to continue to focus even that much more on a peaceful planet and world. This is your mission. These are the tests. I told you it was going to happen. It's happening. So, tighten up that seatbelt. It's going to keep going. Not necessarily in this form. Other things are going to start happening. It's going to hit every area of our lives. The separation, how we treat one, one another as people, that's the biggest one. Illness, we're going to go into the financial. We're already there. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it dissolves only if you focus on that which is the most peaceful, loving, giving, healthy, respecting our planet, respecting one another, totally understanding what each other is. I'm not saying go and hug one of those people. I'm telling you that they are just another student. All right? You don't have to focus on that either way. Put your attention over here because you are now in test mode, my master student. This is it. Will you be the meek? Not weak, meek. Meek is a clever person who holds power beyond human imagination that needs no material world to hold that power because that's not where it comes from. And when we go in here and use it, we change that. And when we go in here and realize that that is just an experience, that's part of why we came here, I'm now being tested. I want you to remember that I'm now being tested. What am I going to do? What are you watching? I'll bet you guys are on those channels. What's going on? Who's doing what? What's the conspiracy behind it? Is it really them? Why are they doing this? Stealing Nike shoes out of a store has nothing to do with a protest. That's just blatant negative behavior. We have to put our attention to where we can be most useful. Come join me for uh, Shift Into the New Earth. That's this Saturday. And if you miss that live class, it'll be posted 24 hours later as the replay. Everybody, including the live, get the replay for a year, unlimited. We're going to use all of my classes about manifesting, advanced, and we're going to go into how does this apply to what's going on right now. How do we not get sucked into it? How do we maintain it? Because it's going to be the biggest challenge of your life is to not get sucked into that, not be fearful of it, not say, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, the Romans used to come in and decimate entire cities, right? We have to change human behavior. This is how it changes right now. We're not going to go back into the old behavior. How do we do that? You go into peace. Nothing can harm you. You use your power. You shift and you see that there is a beautiful fifth dimensional new earth that we're going into already. It's happening. And this is when it's going to start splitting more and more. You're going to see the split more and more and more. People are like, when it's going to happen? It's happening. How are you handling this? You're going, it's splitting and it's splitting and it's splitting. And more and more tests, more and more tests. And some will fall down here and go, I'm afraid and this is happening. And how can I, how can I go into peace when this is happening? That's the test. You do it. Whatever you have to. Practice every day. Don't expose yourself to the garbage because it's not true anymore. Do you know how much fake news there is out there? Do you know most of the news you see is fake? There's so much garbage out there. Do you know that uh, I, I saw somebody said that um, Twitter is all that stuff's bots. They're not even humans putting out garbage. One came over to me and I just 
flagged it. Some really negative stuff. Why would somebody do that? Don't be one of those people. Because you don't hold any power. There will be consequences for all of that behavior. All of that thinking that somebody is wrong or bad because of their skin color or anything else. That includes everybody of every skin color, culture, nationality, financial status, everybody from top to bottom. Because we all have our judgments and it's time that we recognize that none of it's real. It's made up and humans have that capacity and ability and privilege to choose that negativity if they want. With it, you create it. You don't have to. You can create anything you want. You want to go into heaven on earth? No matter what's going on out there, it's possible. You will see what's happening now as the transition that we've been waiting for. It can't change unless there are uncomfortable things that go on out there. Don't be fooled. Hold steady and know that the power within you transcends everything. You ready? Tighten your seatbelt. Nothing to fear. Come join me on Saturday or go in and get the class. I think you're going to love it. It takes everything you've learned and a little bit of breakthrough fear. If you guys want to take my breakthrough fear class, this is a good time to do it. Breakthrough fear focuses on your personal fears and how do you deal with it? How do you deal with the past? And how do you create the future? And how do you deal with that every day? It's a one year, it's a six week class. I give it to you for one year unlimited. And I have a code, it's a big discount down there. So go down and check out the links. You guys know this is my internet courses. People are creating some amazing things. We have a lot of spiritual coaches creating online businesses. They're learning how to do that. Um, amazing community, and that's uh, numbers. You know, there's power in numbers. This is a community of people learning business to change how they're earning, creating businesses that are really high level, high frequency businesses. If you're curious about what that is, that's a free workshop. You can check it out. If you don't like it, you unclick. Keep the comments that are negative to yourself and preferably not even in your head. As my dad used to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> You're whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Don't be a baby. You can communicate. And whatever you're doing out here, look at this, what's going on here and here. Because if you hear yourself saying something, there's something in here that's not right if it's negative. Work on that. It's not them. If it's negative and it's coming from you, there's only one place to look and there's only one place to work on. Your test. It started. You're going to be timed. You ready? Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.